What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be looking at the new shadow king fusion and it is zinagre blade master so a lot of people are saying to me it's a hard skip and i think that's wrong i think for 95 percent of the player base she's actually going to be a really useful champion so first of all so she's shadow king and if we look at my sort of the champions that i have for shadow king we are lacking. We don't have Jintoro, Michi, Harima, Tatsuo, Genzin, Karatu. So we are missing so, so much DPS. And the reason that I want to get her is that I feel that she's going to be really useful in Curse City. So that's number one. And number two, so I can farm Fire Knight Hard 6 quite comfortably. 10 is another issue. So currently I've got foley and i feel that i'm going to be taking out foley and bringing in zinagre so she brings in an aura that's going to give us a 30 percent speed aura boost that is huge that that is like that by itself might give me the speeds that i need just to be able to sort of be able to start chipping away on finite hard 10 um but also she's got some other interesting stuff going on in her kit as well not not to mention she is one of the best looking champions in the game. Like just aesthetically, she is beautiful. Uh, the weapons look pretty badass as well. The only thing I will say is she's got no feet. Where, where are her feet? Uh, obviously that's a bit playing. It's a quite, it's an easy fix. You need to pull her up a little bit. But yeah, no feet at the moment. But I think the rest of her kit as well is really going to help us with Fire Knight. And honestly, I feel like she's going to be the key for people that don't have like Cardinal, Prince Kaima, and all those other champions that you need to basically unlock Final Hard 10. So let's have a look at a passive. Increases the damage the champion deals by 1% for every 1% of HP loss, stacks up to 50. Nice, so that means that she's going to do more damage. This increases, uh, sorry, the da increased damage doubles if a target is uh, under decreased defense. Nice. Active effect. Prevents this champion's death and keeps them alive on 1% HP when hit by a fatal hit. Nice. Um, if this skill prevents the champion's death, heals them by 50% of their max HP. Um, a bit like Elagias, um, a really old fusion from back of the day, except he is a terrible champion um, where Zinagrea looks pretty sweet. Uh, will not prevent this champion's death if they're under heal reduction. Heal reduction is a debuff that you rarely ever see in the game. Um, so I think if you're going to use her in Arena, I don't see it being a problem. I can't even think the last time that I ever saw heal reduction even used in Arena. So, yeah, to be honest, I think it's so pointless, <laughs> it might as well not even be there. Okay, so A3 attacks one enemy four times. That's what we need to peel away those shields on Finite. Before attacking, place a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns. Nice. The first hit and second hit have a 75% chance of placing Leech. Books up to 100%. The third and fourth hit have a 100% chance to place decreased attack. Nice. Like, just, it's obviously, it's not like amazing, but for Finite, it's pretty nice. I guess if you're using her in Hydra, Leech is always good there, and decreased attack is always good on those heads as well. Uh, A2, attacks one enemy four times. Again, the four hitters, I like it. Um, each hit increases the champion's turn by 5%. So this is why I feel like she's really going to come in key. Um, you know, we're going to have like... So we're going to obviously hit four times, then we're going to get a 20% turn meter boost. Um, we're also going to be placing increased speed buff on allies for two turns as well. So that increased speed buff could be really, really useful. No, it's just going to bump everyone's speed up a little bit. This is probably what I'm going to open with on um, Finite Hard. And then the A1. A1 attacks enemy three times, has a 30% chance of placing um, Weaken. So, you know, it's not... I mean, the chance are you are probably going to land Weaken, which is great, and that just means that we're going to do more damage on the bus, and it's just going to speed things up a bit. So, yeah, I'm really, really liking the kit. 
I think if you're going to build up a finite hard, ideally, you know, you'd love to go Savage, but I feel that it's going to be really, really difficult. For me, I'm probably going to have to build her in triple speed. Um, I'm thinking like a minimum of 300 speed. Depending like how things are, I might even have to bump that up to like 320, maybe even 3 330. Um, but she is going to need a lot of speed just because we do want to try it and you know get that increased speed buff up as quick as soon as possible and also so that we can get those four hits out as quickly as possible as well just to because he does have some, it's something ridiculous like 21 hits or something that shield is just crazy um but yeah i've done a video like the team that i've got is yakul um gina longbeard and uh the fat man and Foley. So obviously I think take out Foley and bring in Xenogreer. But yeah, um, I'll put that video in the link below. So if you do want to see a team that can easily just smash Finite Hard 6, please feel, you know, go ahead and watch that video and you'll see how to do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, I really do feel like she is going to be the key. And also, you know, it's not just about Finite Hard. A lot of people that are just doing normal or just progression in the game, I think she's going to be a great progression champion. You know, she's going to be doing... For progression, like decrease attack and leech, great survivability for early and mid-game players. The the quad hit on the A2 and A3 is going to be massive for Fire Knight. And Fire Knight, you know, it's dropping stun gear, regen gear, savage. It is going to open up so much for you in the game. So for me, I actually feel like she's a solid champion. Um, she's pretty book heavy, not too bad. Uh, five books for the for the A3 though. But yeah, I feel like she is going to be a real game changer. So, yeah, I think 95% of the player base should definitely be going for her. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments why. <laughs> let me know why you think I'm wrong. But yeah, face value, I think she is going to be a beast. I've been the real deal. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.